Hey, welcome to Top Tech People. And today I'm going to show you my rendering settings in Adobe Premiere Pro. Once you have your project fully loaded up in Adobe Premiere Pro, you have all your files already stacked and everything's already fully edited and ready to go. You're going to go ahead and hit head into file and hit export and export the media. Now, once you're there, you want to make sure, make sure your source range right here in the bottom left says entire sequence. You don't want to render just a portion of the clip right now. That'll probably be in another video. So make sure you're subscribed. So that way you won't miss that one. Okay. So make sure your source range is entire sequence. And then we have format. Now it does matter which one you are going to go, which one you're going to use, depending on uh, if you're going to be uploading to IGTV, Facebook, things of that nature. So check your so uh, source requirements, upload requirements for your video file. So that way you know exactly which one you'll be using. But for me, I do 265 HEVC because that is the latest codec that is uh, that is currently out and that and uh, provides the smallest file size for the highest resolution and highest quality video file with audio attached. So I choose HEVC 265 and I want it to be in 4K. You can choose 8K if you have 8K footage, but just keep in mind um, if you're doing you know 4K footage and stretching to 8K, you know, you may have some distortion, no, some pixelation. So I do, I'm shooting in 4K 30 frames. I'm gonna render it in 4K 30 frames. So make sure 4, 4K is selected and I, out my output name, I like to name the video file exactly the title of it. So this one is the remove denoise in Premiere Pro. Oh no, actually it's not removed in denoise. It's removing noise in Premiere Pro using denoise. So I've got my file named. I'm just going to drag it in exactly where it needs to be. So give me a second here. Let me do that. I like to put it in the final. Create that folder. Boom, boom, boom. Everything looks good. Save. All right. Entire sequence. HEVC. 4K. File name. Export video. Export audio. Make sure your screen looks just like mine. And I always like to review the resolution to make sure this is in a 4K resolution. And, and as I can see here, it's in 3840 by 2160. My frame rate is 29.97. Like I said, I was recording in 30 frames per second. Don't want to do anything more. Don't want to do anything too less. Creates dist distortion and creates pixelation. So let's go ahead and uh, I like to go ahead and hit Q. Now what Q does, it prepares the file and go ahead and open it in Adobe Media Encoder and starts using that software to process it. So therefore you can still edit additional files that you need to do, uh, need to edit inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So once it's got your file loaded up, and then if it has a warning, don't worry, it just has to do something with my fonts. I'm not too worried about it. It gets processed and it works fine anyway. Um, so I just hit start on that. And as you can see, it starts loading it up, it prepares the audio clip, two out of five, and it goes through the whole five out of five process pretty fast, depending on what type of system you have, it will vary um, on the entire rendering. Um, and there you have it. It starts to render. It will give you a time. It does speed up over time depending on what type of application you have open. So maybe not using Premiere Pro would help you render it a lot faster. Um, but you do have the capability of using both. So with that being said, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. So don't forget to you know, obliterate the like button, like I always say, and uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed so you don't miss any future content or any videos that we will uh, be releasing on this channel. So, thank you very much. <laughs>